Each week, Stevens Creek Toyota brings us stories of athletes who have overcome adversity in their lives to succeed in school and in sports. Here, B. Jeannie joins us now with the story of a Santa Teresa football player and his battle to get back on the field this season. Robert, tonight we meet a football player from Santa Teresa High School. After finishing up his first season on varsity for the Saints, Zyrick Perino was diagnosed with a condition and was unsure if he would ever step foot on the field again. Zyrick Perano loves the game of football. Since the young age of seven, he would not be seen without a ball in his hands. And although Zyrick may be one of the smallest players on the field, his heart outshines most. Shortly after the star football player finished his first season with the Saints, he started experiencing abnormal numbness in his limbs and impaired vision. After a few tests, Zyrick was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome. Uh, the worst possible point about this uh, Guillain-Barre syndrome was when um, you just can't move. You can't. Either your body starts getting numb. You like the only thing, the only parts you can move are your fingertips, but you, there, you can feel the numbness in them. You can't move. You can't walk on your own. Um, the part when you can't eat, you just don't have the the urge to eat. You can't do none of that. Um, the hardest part, you can't sleep either. It's hard. GBS is a rare condition in which the body's immune system attacks the nervous system, causing paralysis. Zyrick was hospitalized for a week and a half with blurred vision, paralyzed from the waist down with a long road to recovery. Throughout the hospital, when I was in the ER, not the ER, like the hospital bed, I just threw up. It was hard for me to go to the bathroom. I was urinating blood. I just really got sad in the hospital, sitting in the bed, just thinking about football over and over. I think I couldn't play again. After missing his second semester of his junior year, thoughts of never being able to play football flooded his head. The terrible symptoms of GBS kept young Zyrick from participating in preseason workouts with his team, but luckily, Zyrick was not facing this battle alone. Once my coach found out, my best friend, Ethan Mazone, he uh, gave, my coach, gave the coach an idea to make a video saying to get well with the whole team in the locker room. I saw it with, the, with one eye. I saw it, and then... I just started crying. My mom started crying. My grandma started crying. It was just really emotional. A lot of emotional stuff happened. Yeah. My team was always there for me. Get well, bro. We all love you. Yeah. Cyric went through months of physical therapy and started responding to the medication prescribed by his doctors. Hope began to arise. Without the love and support of his team and his family, including his younger brother, Zaid, Zyrick would not be here today. Feed him, waking him up, helping him to the bathroom. He would call me at night if he needed help, like to the bathroom and stuff, and I would help him go back to sleep. I didn't know what was going to really happen to him, because that was the first time that that ever happened in our family, like the first disease that ever happened. I was crying my eyes out, praying to God that he would be okay. The dream of playing football again is what drove Zyrick to get better. Even though his physical condition was not 100%, he did everything that he could to get back on the field. Zyrick would not stop asking me if he could participate, even though he wasn't cleared by the doctor. Every day he said, Coach, let me just lift. Coach, let me just run. And we had to kind of you know, keep the chains on him a little bit because it, they were very concerned about you know, him getting more sick. Um, he missed a lot of school. Um, and he would come and just watch practice whenever he felt up to it. And through his treatments and everything, he gradually you know, improved and improved to the point where he was actually cleared to lift. And then it was cleared to run. And then there was that great day when he was cleared to actually fully participate, which brought tears to all of us. He even now I think about it, it's pretty emotional. As the summer sun began to shine, Zyrick was finally cleared to hit the field. An emotional day for everyone. First day back in the field, I cried when I got home. I cried when I got home. It felt really great. I, uh, I was so excited to play, play with my boys again. Um, I just, you know, I just missed the football field. I, I really thought I wouldn't be able to step on the field and run on the field with the guys again. Zyrick is now back on the football field for his senior year, feeling better than ever. He is grateful for every day on the field beside his team. Such an amazing kid. Let his story be a reminder to all athletes to be grateful for each and every day that they get to play the sport that they love. It's truly yeah. inspiring. Yeah, you never know when it might get taken away from you. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Kira.